Okay, here we have the Andrex Washlets Flushable Toilet Tissue Wipe. They advertise this as cotton fresh. There's a lot of talk in the UK with Dawn Porter doing various adverts about how fresh these make you feel, but at the end of the day, these will make you cleaner. So every time you go to the loo, you don't just do the paperwork. So once you think you're clean and you've done all the various business you think you need to do with that, and that's down the loo, you Pop open the box, you take yourself one of these, quite easy dispensers, and you can just see here, proud uh, sticking up is the next tissue to be used. And you have here a single sheet. Now it's not tissue paper, I'm gonna be quiet just so you can hear it rustle. Nothing much to it at all. Uh, it is moist. Um, is it dripping wet? Are my hands wet? No, however, if I squeeze one, roll one up really, really tight, and this is from a fresh pack, and I squeeze, you can get a couple of drips out of it, uh, of the uh, cooling moist uh, cleaning fluid that's within the tissue itself. So they call it cotton fresh, but I say this is cotton. I'm gonna deliberately tear one just so you can see what uh, actually occurs. Now they're quite strong, so in use, don't worry. You've gotta be a little bit careful. I'm gonna deliberately, ah, there we go. So quite a bit of force. And as you can see, it doesn't tear like paper. But is it cotton? Well, it might be. It doesn't actually say on the box what it is. It does feel very soft, softer than any tissue paper than you can imagine. Uh, this is a, a quality luxury product. Okay, I'm gonna do a, a few gross things here because at the end of the day, what is this all about? I'm bringing into play here a saucer. Don't worry if we get too squish. And on this saucer is some HP Brown sauce. So. I'm not gonna give advice on uh, how to deploy this moist tissue, but broadly speaking, you want to uh, have it in such a place where you can uh, give yourself an extra clean, and where whatever you think you've done with the tissue paper, you will get some sort of stain marking, so you can see how thick this is, because I'm gonna fold it over now, so of course you can fold it over, and uh, you can see it's slightly staining through, but nothing, no, no big deal, so you're gonna fold it a couple of times, give yourself further wipes, further wipes, further wipes, and at the end of the day, uh, even this size, it's still a useful size to clean the uh, all important spots. So at the end of the day, this will make you cleaner. I'm gonna get HP sauce out of the way because it's probably very confusing. And I'm gonna get away this, uh, I promise you, that is just HP brown sauce, nothing too gross here. But you will get yourself cleaner. So they keep using the term fresher. And uh, I think that's understating what this product is from a guy's point of view. Um, it doesn't smell. Uh, it's cool, not clammy. Um, it does feel like you've just had a bit of a wash. It's a bidet in a box. Uh, when you get a new one, they look like this on the shelf. There's a cardboard outer which you can just tear off, and underneath you get this uh, box. Inside, it's uh, all sealed. I'm going to quickly go through actually loading one up. So I'm going to push things out of the way a little bit so I get a bit more room. So inside, you'll actually get a pack. Now you can buy these packs on their own. Uh, I buy them in a box of three, so there's still one left in there. So you can refill them. You don't have to keep buying these new boxes, but obviously you want a box per bathroom. Um, couple of points. So you could just buy this in a pack. It's quite cleverly designed, so you can peel it open. Okay. And immediately you've got yourself a little oval hole from which you can pull your first tissue. Let me just do that. And it, of course, just like tissues in a box, it's concertinaed in such a way that it'll pull up the next tissue. I'm gonna get a few more things out of the way here so you can see a little bit more clearly what I'm doing. Now, okay, so you can absolutely use this. I'm gonna put that aside and you could seal this down again, but to do that, you need to poke this back inside, otherwise it won't get uh, so well sealed. If you're using uh, this pack on a personal basis, in your handbag, in your bag, in your own personal bathroom, absolutely no problem with that, but I would not really recommend from a communal sharing point of view, that one person has just had to poke back the next person's tissue. So I say that isn't how I'd really recommend using this. I therefore strongly recommend this very good dispenser that they sell you. And it doesn't cost an appreciable amount of money when you buy this, you get a pack inside. And I'm gonna quickly show you how it loads. You need the lid and the uh, inner open. I'm actually going to peel this whole sticky uh, front cover out, although it's reusable, because it gets in the way. You can open it and fold it underneath and still pop it in the packet, but I just recommend ripping it off and getting rid of that. You just don't need it. So let's just get that out of the way. I fold the, uh, the wings of the side under. I'll do this just so that it helps lift 
the and gives you the most space within the box the uh, actual bag itself the packet pouch itself you do need to feed the first unit through the first tissue through and uh, that's why I open the door and the lid and you're going to poke that through this little rubbery soft squidgy mouth opening and I'm going to put it side on so you can see and as you can see you can just then shut the lid and it's done now the actual main uh, package lid, the bit that you don't open except for when you're changing the unit, there's a couple of things I want to make a point of. It's worth checking eyeballing all around this seam to make sure it's really closed and correctly secure. There is a clip just under the main lid going to the front here. And the reason I say this, I don't know whether you can see this, if, if I zoomed in I'm sure I'd lose the focus, but just simply put, the base of this box has a kind of a, a U shape to the rim and the lid would then come in and introduce its red ridge into that U shape. So you get an outer upper lid, lid, rim, an inner from the lid rim and an out and inside of the base rim. So you actually get a very clever seal here and you want to make sure it all locks into place neatly. So you don't want to squeeze it too hard but you want to make sure that it does click in place, that everything has clicked in place and you can just quickly do it with an eyeball and that ensures, the reason why I'm stressing this is because that ensures that the product inside stays moist. What you don't want to do is to have the unit drying as it's inside a, a radiator, uh, near a radiator, sorry, inside your bathroom, inside your downstairs loo etc. So that keeps the product uh, lasting longer. You get um, just over 40 or so in a packet. Um, and typically you only need to use one per session let's say um, absolutely you might feel com more comfortable using a couple or starting with your first use wipe however you want to term it with it already folded over it is quite large um, it fills my hand however um, you can absolutely use it with just a single layer it's quite strong as I showed you earlier um, it's not cold or clammy, but it is cool and refreshing. It, it, it is, you know, I've used their word now, haven't I? Um, it will make you clean, um, but it's certainly not uncomfortable to use. And uh, people that use it uh, in the family, no reported problems, whether you've got piles, soreness, etc. It is neutral, very kind to the skin. Um, no issue with uh, young or old. And um, you get multiple wipes out of it. And uh, they claim on the box that it's pH neutral. So it's got absolutely okay with the skin and uh, let's say one use goes a long way so b-day in a box absolutely makes you cleaner uh, it's uh, a very good item to have thoroughly recommend it so well done andrex you've done a good product here with the washlets and we've used it here in our household for years